So the main and probably the only reason why I've decided to record this video is that I simply get a shit ton of questions in a note of can you still trade up in TF2 uh, from nothing to something? And my answer will be always positive. Yes, of course you can. And the next thing you're probably going to ask, if I'm planning to start some kind of new trading series where I trade from absolutely nothing to, for example, one worthless weapon to something so expensive like, I don't know, burning unusual, and to be honest with you guys, I've done this for several times already in my past. And I also believe that I even uploaded a video a few months ago where I basically traded up from um, where I traded up to my first unusual ever. It took me less than seven days, I believe, and uh, this was a huge move for me. And I got into the unusual trading scene. Actually, let's get back to the topic. So trading up from nothing is hard, yeah, but uh, for sure not impossible. I mean. If you are a true fan and you do actually take time to check some of my older videos, um, I'm pretty sure you have already noticed that I'm looking to get one of the most expensive inventories in the game. And I've tried my best to upload these trading episodes at least once a week, but it's honestly not really possible. I mean, if I were dealing with items worth like 30 keys, I would make videos every second day. However, right now I'm dealing with items so expensive that they are mostly worth up to 1000 keys per piece. And uh, you have to understand that uh, not everyone in TF2 community has over 1000 keys and is actually willing to buy one of my hats. So obviously it takes time and also not mentioning the fact that mostly everyone who has inventory worth up to 1000 keys obviously know how to trade. This person is most likely not gonna give me much profit in trades. And that's basically why I didn't upload my trading series so often lately. And what I would suggest you is buy at least 5 keys and start trading with them. After that you can probably invest uh, all of it in some kind of kill streak weapons, cosmetics, basically anything you want. Uh, just make sure to buy them for discounted prices so you can sell for more. Trading is about flipping the items. I mean, obviously the definition of profit in trading is to sell something for more than you bought it for. And I don't really know why I should give you some kind of tips about trading when all you need is an item knowledge and also you need to think fast and don't be scared to risk. And literally most of my trades I've been risking a lot. However, at end it mostly paid off. And I mean for sure I made like two trades in my life, which were extremely risky. I mean I lost some keys from that, but for sure I got more than enough uh, keys back later. Alright, uh, but let's get back to the topic. So after we get some profit by buying quick sells, then reselling the items obviously for full price. Hmm, let's say we fib out 9 keys pure, I think that's uh, pretty, pretty easy. And some people actually don't know this, uh, but uh, 9 keys is more than enough to buy any unusual. Now, I'm not talking about the burning unusuals, I'm obviously talking about the cheap ones. However, I'm not talking about the nuts and bolts or uh, dreadnought. Um, in past I got some pretty decent unusuals worth, I think even up to 15 keys for only 9 keys. I'm not sure if uh, this will be the case. I mean, you can get lucky, it's uh, probably not gonna happen, because the more expensive item you have, the more you can ask for it, and therefore you can make more profit on it. And this is what I repeat mostly all the time, but uh, simply it's true, and it works all the time. So obviously the seller won't give you free profit, like 6 keys when the item is worth like 15 keys. Also don't ever pay the full backpack.tf price when paying with pure keys. If you were to pay with items such as professional killstreaks, uh, yes, you will be probably required to overpay by a lot. But please don't overpay with keys pure uh, for items. Um, the only difference between TF2 and CSGO is that CSGO items are mostly considered as pure. And you can actually sell them at any point you decide to for real world money. And that's what TF2 is missing actually, the possibility of um, of selling everything for pure fast and uh, actually you can even sell that for money. What I'm trying to tell you is uh, to use this into your advantage. TF2 items are being easily bought for sometimes even less than half of the backpack to TF price. Now um, I'm not really telling you to uh, try lowball the shit out of the seller, but uh, one more and uh, probably the most important rule I would say, don't ever show that you are emotionally attached to the item you are buying basically, ever. Uh, you don't want to show him or her that uh, you like his or her item, because obviously the seller will be more confident that he will uh, sell it to you. And probably the most common thing that the seller will do uh, right after is that um, he will basically raise the price and stay firm at his buyout. And try to be honest and please never lie about the prices. 
uh, if you get caught, uh, it can actually cause you to get banned and um, being marked for scamming. So please don't uh, try to uh, scam people, don't try to rip off people. Anyway, uh, most of these tips are pretty obvious. I mean, what I always tell to people is when you trade, mostly it's about common sense. And I mean everything from the way you act, your grammar in chat, uh, the negotiation with the, um, with the seller, and basically all the stuff in general. Now, I don't want to add anything on top or mention something new, uh, really. All you need while trading is using the common sense and there are for sure some small tricks how to make even bigger amounts of profit, but at end it all ends um, at item knowledge and using the common sense. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, I'm really sorry for not uploading so often as I wish to, however the school year started already and it's getting pretty tough. And all I wanted to say is basically keep an eye out for my trading series. I'm still trading, I didn't quit. I am only collecting offers uh, for my really expensive items, so obviously I don't get many of them. And I don't really want to spoil anything, but yeah guys, I made a lot of profit. You will understand what I'm talking about uh, in the upcoming videos. So again guys, thanks for all the support, thanks for watching and see you guys until the next one.